Hi there, Lloyd Macedo Speedy from LloydMacedo.com. Today, let me hit you with a reality that you need to know. You know, there was this, there's this particular girl on my Facebook. And now the thing about her is uh, she's ugly, absolutely ugly, okay? She's fat, she's ugly, she's overweight, she's clumsy, she is jobless, she is uh, uh, dark, she is everything that is going on bad for her. Now, I don't mean it in a bad way, but I'm telling you facts, okay? Now, I know some of you will say, oh, you got to look at inner beauty, blah, 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 blah. Listen, if you look bloody ugly, you look bloody ugly, okay? If you're fat, you're fat. If you're skinny, you're skinny, okay? So, I was just talking to her today, this morning on the phone, and she was telling me, you know, true love exists, and, uh, you know, I'm searching for my knight in the shiny armor, blah, 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 she was telling me, and I was, you know, going for my six kilometer run. So, I, I just told her, listen, listen, stop this shit, just stop this shit, because true love, my dear friends, I mean, what's got wrong with people? See, if you actually look at it, if a guy is at this level, he'll always want a girl at this level. Okay, and if a girl, if a guy, if a girl is at this level, she wants a guy who's here. Nobody wants from here to come down here. That is why, if you look at all the marriage websites, what do you see? All the marriage websites, you'll see a beautiful face. You look at Facebook, you'll always see an attractive photograph. Do you anytime see a girl putting an ugly photograph when she's getting up and her hair is all like this and her mouth stings and ah, she comes like that? Do you anytime see a photograph? Eh? No, it's always sexy. It's always. It's always pucking up their lips to show that they want to, you know, something in their mouth. So, and all they go like that. And why, why? And why do guys come in, oh, you look so hot, oh, you look so nice. Do you anytime see an ugly looking female putting an ugly photograph and guys saying, ah, oh, I like you so much? No. Let me tell you this. I created a fake Facebook account putting a really beautiful girl's photograph, you know, 10 or 20 photographs of hers, I think a whole album. And uh, I, I just put on searching for friends. You'd not believe the who's who of who I know started adding her up. Okay, they started adding her up. They started giving poetry messages for a girl who never existed. I don't know if she was fake or real. And uh, I deactivated the account because after some time it was such a bloody headache. Every day, 30 messages. Every day, maybe 10 add-ons. Every time I just come online, everyone's popping up from everywhere. Oh, I love you. Hi, hi, hi. That's why I think half the girls get fed up of all the desperate bums who are there in UAE. Man, if you guys want to get laid, just say you want to get laid. What is all this love, poetry and all that? End of the day, it's all a matter of sex. So, I was telling you about this girl. Now, she wants to believe that true love exists. I mean, my dear, you're around 162 kilos or something more bigger than that. Uh, over that, you look ugly. Over that, you don't have a job. You don't uh, take care of yourself. Uh, you know, your personality sucks like my socks. And then, you're looking for a knight in the shiny armor. Look at your age. You're almost 40. You're still single. Take my advice. You know, this is not a channel for motivation. This is a channel for reality. Number one, lose your fat. If you can't lose your fat, at least aim for someone fatter than you. So at least you being fat, you're getting another fatter guy. I think it'll be a great you know, combination. Although I don't know how you'll have sex. The second one, if you're ugly, go for someone who's even more uglier or go... You know, if you at least have a decent job, uh, uh, you know, let's focus on the ugly aspect. If you're ugly, go for a guy with only one eye or, you know, his mouth is, you know, totally disfigured or, you know, go, go for something really terrible because at least then you can at least match. Others, you're ugly and you're aiming for Tom Cruise. Come on, get a life. Tom Cruise also prefers young girls, like uh, who's enough to be his daughter. Then, if you're rich and, but you're ugly and you're fat and everything else, Go for your building watchman or a laborer or a cleaner. He'll be so happy. But if in case he rejects you, then you really need to go even lower. Go for someone who's blind. Okay. And uh, then if your personality sucks, go for uh, uh, someone who's mentally retarded because then I think it would suit you. And if in case you're just a good looking female with no brains, uh, well, you're kind of lucky because you might get some guys who are very successful who are just looking for uh, someone to have sex with and to show off. You know, like Shilpa Shetty or um, like uh, most of these famous uh, Hollywood uh, actresses. What do they do? They go for a rich guy. Like, I don't think uh, Angelina Jolie went from Brad Pitt only because he had a good heart. But because she knew her future was secure. So, and if in case you don't have any of the above, you don't have a personality, you don't have a good figure, you don't have a good face and you're total crap and you're absolute nonsense. Now, what I would suggest is uh, just... Do yourself a favor, go buy yourself a vibrator or go buy yourself a dildo or uh, go become a lesbian, if nothing else. Or forget that, get yourself a dog at home because I think that would actually solve your problem. So what am I trying to tell you is you need to be realistic, my dear. 
Stop looking at all these motivational tapes. Stop listening to people's bullshit. Um, if you're fat, start to work on your fatness. Uh, do something. Get uh, Go do some exercise. If exercise doesn't work. Stop telling, I need to love myself, accept myself. Boo hoo hoo. You can accept yourself. Nobody else accepts you. Okay. The second thing is if you're ugly, stop putting fair and lovely. And if you're uh, having a fair skin, stop getting yourself tanned. It looks so stupid. I mean, fair and lovely. Does fair and lovely bloody work? <laughs> no. Does tanning yourself, burning your skin, frying yourself work? No, it's stupid. Stop doing that. Okay. Then uh, if you don't have a personality, please go and get one. Because, um, you know, most of you women do not have a personality. And those who have, have already got really successful guys because they're smart. And if you're dumb, please read some books. Uh, reading fashion magazines is not going to help you. Oh, yes, if you do not have a fashion sense, then you must. And uh, what else? Um, I would just say this, that uh, I think you need to lower your expectations, not have too high expectations because you have high expectations. The guy will eventually dump you and that is what is happening. So, Lloyd Macedo's advice to you girls who are having problems being fat, ugly or whatever is, is simply this. I mean, I can give bullshit and inspiration and say, oh, believe in the best, pray to God and hope in the best. I think you're bullshitting yourself. I think you need to be a little more realistic. So, you know, it's it's not a hate, okay? I just genuinely care about you and I'm telling you this. Start being realistic. And if you can be realistic, it will really help you. And uh, I think the world will be a much better place. Because remember, in the end, men are all artificial. Men are all superficial. And if you find a man who can accept you for whoever you are, whatever you are, there is something fishy going on there. Because in the end, nobody is stupid. Evolutionary-wise, we are supposed to be selfish. That is why it's a selfish gene. And this is what I firmly believe. So if you have anything else to say, very glad to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. God bless. No, I don't believe in God. Okay. Goodbye. I bless you. Take care.